We now head to Brooklyn, where Ben Simmons was introduced as a net for the first time Tuesday. Then, and for the first time in six months, Simmons spoke to reporters. And if I know reporters, that is a long time to hold in some questions. A lot of them fired at Simmons, among them how he thinks his skill set complements KD and Kyrie, a.k.a. the new big three. Take a listen. Uh, I think it's going to be scary. Um, having those guys running alongside me, um, there's, you know, multiple different weapons on the floor. And I think at the pace we want to play at, it's, it's going to be unreal. He said it's going to be scary to have those guys running alongside me. Simmons, not the first to use the term scary. Look who else Damn, did. James Harden tweeted here, this Jenna. just over one year ago. Scary <laughs> hours. You might be right, Nick. Uh, let me start with you. It's a new big three in Brooklyn now. But is the Nets' new big three scarier than the old big three, Nick? Oh, I believe it is. I, in theory, I think theoretically it should be. It fits better. It has. It, it, Basketball-wise, it makes more sense. They actually have a chance at stopping the opposing best players in the league now because they have a legitimate, great defensive player. They have a guy who, as long as Kawhi Leonard's not playing, is at least in the discussion as the best perimeter defensive player in basketball. So, yeah, I, I, I said, now I'm, you know, a man on an island. It happened, the name of the island happens to be the only right man in America but it is an island yeah. where I said the Nets big three was never going to work. <laughs> and it was never going to work because Facts. of a m multitude of issues. But the biggest one was you didn't have any way to stop people. And the kind of tertiary issue was you had an inexperienced head coach that it's going to be hard to handle the egos and who gets the shots and who gets the ball. Now it's straightforward. Now, those questions are answered, you know, at least in large part. Simmons knows what his role is. Kevin Durant knows what his role is. And I think Kevin Durant, as one of the 15 greatest players ever to live, actually, and we saw it in the playoffs, can rise to the occasion when more is asked of him, not when less is asked of him. And Kyrie, when he's there, knows what his role is. It's what it's always been. Get buckets. <laughs> What do I have to worry about? Get buckets. And then Seth Curry fits great. So, listen, I think they're a wing short, Brew. I think that if you look at it, you have Kyrie, you have Seth, you have Ben Simmons, you have KD. I know what they'll probably do is start a center. Claxton, Drummond will play some. What I think their best lineup would be would be playing Ben Simmons at center. But then you just... Who's going to play that other wing spot? Bruce Brown. Now you're really small. So I do think they're a wing short, as, but they can work on that in the offseason. But I think that this team can win a title. I never thought that the previous iteration of the Nets could win the title. So, yeah, I think it's scarier. Uh, look, I, I agree with you that Ben Simmons at center – is their best option. Because if you put Claxton in there and he's going to be in the paint, near the paint, then where's Ben Simmons right. going to be? You know, because exactly. if you have Ben Simmons on the perimeter, he's going to be the same liability on the offensive end that he was in Philadelphia because any defender worth their salt is just going to back up and say, shoot it, Ben. And you be, bring up the That's same right. issues and challenges he had in his previous stop. I, I, I don't hate this trade. I mean, I, you know, I like it. For both teams, I do think, as much as I don't think Philly will win the championship, I think they're better now than they were two weeks ago. I think they're better than they were last season even. And Brooklyn, I think this trade will pay more dividends if it ever leads to a championship in the future, like next season or the year after, not this season. I don't think they win the championship this year. I don't think they're better than they would have been with Harden you know, obviously there are issues off the court. Now, Nick, I'll say this. You, look, we can't sit here and say that the big three with Harden was a success because it's disbanded and no championship, no finals appearance. Okay, however, if we keep it real, their problem for all of the personality issues and vaccination issues and all that, 
the biggest problem for the big three was injuries. Because when those three were together, and I know it's a small sample size, they were 13-3, and three, and they were 5-1 and one in the playoffs. And yes, they weren't great defensively, but they could be adequate. They were 19th in the league defensive rating this year. They could get a stop when they had to, and they were so great offensively. And here's the thing, as great a playmaker, I'd be interested in hearing if you agree with this, Nick, as great a playmaker as Simmons is, I think Harden is a better playmaker in the half court. Yes, he is a tremendous absolutely. point guard when he wants Agreed. to be. Okay, so that team ain't fit together offensively, but it was just other things that conspired to make it not work. And here's the issue, though, for these Nets now. Many of those same things are still there. We still have questions about Simmons' mentality the mental toughness of himself and the other players, just like we had about Harden and somebody and the Nets without Ben Simmons. So these things still abound, Nick, these questions. And here's the big thing, Wilds. I, I mentioned when the game slows down in the playoffs and becomes a half-court game and Ben can't just push it in transition, he could be a liability offensively whenever he's on the perimeter. So that's going sure. to be a problem. And then... With home in home games, when Kyrie can't play, they've got one big time score. At least with Harden, you had two. Now you got one big time score whenever you're playing at home this season. That's a problem. LeBron James, for all he does on the court, Wilds, as great as he is, has never won a championship without a second big time score. I don't think Kevin Durant can yep. do it without a second big time score. I know, but maybe, maybe two kind of miniature big-time scores. Like, I think Seth, we're going to see a new Seth Curry getting open jump shots. I also think everyone thinks that we're going to get the same old Ben Simmons. Great defense, not a lot of shooting. I think this is the opportunity that we see a better Ben Simmons. So, Nick, why was Steve Nash chosen by Kevin Durant to come coach the Nets? It's because he developed – a good relationship with him in Golden State. And Steve Nash would come in like, there's a lot of videos online. Steve Nash would work with Kevin Durant. And Kevin Durant respected his insight and his footwork and how to get shots. I don't think fixing Ben Simmons' jumper is something Steve Nash wants to tackle. But I could see adding that little floater in the lane, that little Steve Nash, oh, I shot it way one second earlier than you thought I was, and I can win the MVP that way. I think Steve Nash is going to unlock potential in Ben Simmons that we haven't seen. So I actually think we're going to get a better Ben Simmons that no one's no one's really considering. Everyone thinks you're just going to get the same Ben Simmons. I think you're going to get a better Ben Simmons. Well, if you're going to go there, you also have to consider the factor that you're going to get a worse Ben Simmons. You got to you, you we we got to be fair I mean, here. That, it's that on the, board. The, the time away from the game that whatever you know what happened to him in that playoff series is going to be his version of the Nick Anderson free throws, if we want to call back something, mm. you know, from 27 years ago, that took years to get over. Like, it just changed that player forever. So, I, I think Ben right. Simmons is a massive unknown. I think the best case for Ben Simmons, if we're being honest, was to go to a bad team. And we can talk more about this later. I, I don't think being on another wow. team with championship expectations that's going to be in the spotlight isn't, it was necessarily the smoothest yeah. landing for him, but it does. It has the most upside, and I know Wilds, you're you're being supportive, and I think it's admirable. It certainly has the best upside that he couldn't get if he had landed in Sac 